Hi guys, Happy New Year, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday break. I went home for the holidays and I just got back earlier today. And even though I was able to upload my film review of the amazing movie Aquaman, I did miss out on a few other things that uh, hit online uh, during the winter break that I saw, but I have yet to post a reaction video to until now. So one of the two trailers that uh, dropped over the holidays was on Christmas Day itself as a wonderful present from Universal and Jordan Peele. We got the, tra the first official trailer and the first look at the upcoming horror thriller us, which is Jordan Peele's next film following his wildly successful and amazing film, Get Out. I am so excited for this movie, and I hope you guys are as well. So let's jump right into it. Uh, I was very happy to see we were finally getting a trailer uh, for this movie because we hadn't heard that much about it. We finally got some first look images from the, fi from the film, just a couple of uh, mysterious photos featuring a blood-soaked uh, Lupita Nyong'o. I'm really Really sorry if I butcher that name, but you guys know who I'm talking about. She was Nakia from Black Panther. And uh, we got some photos of her, and then we finally got this really intriguing, really scary trailer for the movie, and I am excited. Get Out, in my opinion, was one of the best films in 2017. It was one of the best movies I have seen in a really, really long time. Now, I'm not much of an awards guy, but I was absolutely delighted when Jordan Peele won Best Screenplay for that film at last year's Oscar ceremony. I felt like he really deserved it because he did a phenomenal phenomenal job and this guy proved to me and to everybody else in my opinion that he is an excellent storyteller so whatever he's written for us I'm sure it's going to be incredible it's going to be a good suspenseful horror film like Get Out and then it'll have some kind of underlying subtext or political commentary or social commentary as well and I'm really intrigued as to what that could be because with this trailer it looks like a family goes to uh, the beach and then a beach house for the weekend to get away from it all and then they're terrorized by what looks like a doppelganger gang of themselves like it looks like the husband and wife and their two kids the boy and girl are all terrorized by what looks like to be a uh, exact evil evil uh, opposite versions of themselves but all evil and demonic looking and I'm curious as to what exactly is going on here. Like, this seems to, this film, this trailer implies this movie is definitely going to have, a, I, in my opinion, a lot more horror elements to it than Get Out did. And sp some people may disagree with me on that. That's okay. But from this trailer, my impression was this movie's going to be a lot scarier and way more horror or supernatural based. And I say supernatural based because I'm not sure what the explanation or the reason is behind the evil uh, version of the family of our main core of characters. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what exactly that uh, that's going to be. But uh, if I, but uh, I think uh, we can all trust Jordan Peele to do an amazing job and explain to us during the movie what exactly is going on. Uh, you know, it's great seeing Winston Duke and Lupita Nyong'o on the screen together again after uh, Black Panther. They were both amazing in that film. That was a gr another great movie too, and I was really excited when I heard they were cast as the two leads in this film by Jordan Peele, and I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, you know, like I said, it offered a lot of intrigue. It gave us a tease at the horror to come, and I'm really curious as to what the social or political commentary might be, much like how I thought Get Out was a wonderful metaphor. Well, not wonderful, but a great metaphor or example of uh, racism. I wonder if Us is going to have a similar uh, subtle or not so subtle message, but that's just uh, me. So uh, who, who knows? Maybe it won't have anything like that. Maybe it'll be just a straight up horror thriller, but I'm really hoping that it does have some kind of commentary because it was in Get Out was incredible. And I'm sure Us is going to be just as amazing. So it looks like a good old home invasion horror story, probably with political commentary. And the trailer did show a lot. But what I liked about the trailer is that it showed a lot but revealed very little because it showed us a lot of footage, but at the same t time, you're like, what is going on? And I'm sure a lot of you were left with that same impression as well. So Us hits theaters this spring, March 15th, 
which is only like really two three months away which is really exciting because it means all the other big movies are just around the corner as well stay tuned to this channel for further updates on this film and other movies coming out in 2019 don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more trailer reaction videos like this one don't forget to like and share this video thank you so much for watching uh, i will be posting at least one or two more videos later today so stand by for those thanks again for watching i hope you guys had a wonderful christmas break it's great to be back home. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.